said, mm-mm, no. Huh? Sammy Jr., yes, son. Yeah. I just stay above the fray. But you know, when so finally, thank you, thank you, Zane. made me very comfortable. He actually made me very comfortable. I have been hearing about Trinity United Church of Christ out on 85th Street, and I thought I would check it out. Mm -hmm. And when I went there, I was amazed at all of the young people and how huge. I mean, it was just standing room only. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't join the first Sunday. But there was something within that service that caused me to return. And of course, I joined the following Sunday. But Reverend Jeremiah Wright, there is something within that man. He is has a love. He has, a, first of all, a deep love of God. Mm -hmm. He loves his parishioners. Mm -hmm. He knows them by name. Frequently he's calling you by name as he's preaching one of his sermons. He speaks seven to eight languages. The man is amazing. He really is. And it's pretty pathetic to me what's going on today. Yeah, I agree. Do you know something? <laughs> I know that there is an end to all of this, and all he has to do is stop and stand still. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone was watching me, what do you want to say to people who don't know him or, you know, or going to church in our area of Chicago or anything? You know, what do you want them to know about him most of all? Because I think, I think he's been mis mis totally mischaracterized, you know. Well, he's being mischaracterized for a reason. There is a purpose behind all of this. Because first of all, he has been aligned with Barack Obama, and mm -hmm. consequently, the fact that he had this relationship with Minister Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. So with that, there is this... Talking about Pastor Wright. Correct. Yeah. Oh. Pastor Wright. There's mm -hmm. this intention to just massacre. If, possibly. Mm -hmm. But what I want people to really know is, first of all, get to know your history. Because Reverend Wright, the one thing I can truly say about him, he has taught us our history. And I think there is a fear out there mm -hmm. that some don't want us to know our history. Because then it points the finger at them. And mm -hmm. as long as you're ignorant, you're at a disadvantage. You're talking about the history of us in America, blacks in America. Absolutely. Yeah. And not just African Americans, mm -hmm. Japanese Americans, mm -hmm. Indian Americans, mm -hmm. Native Americans. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that's taken place in this country that many of us don't know. Yeah. We assume it all just took place in the last mm -hmm. 10, 15 years or 20 years. This goes back yeah. for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. I think what's interesting to me is it seems like I've always known that we were sort of all mixed up, like my great grandmother was Seminole Indian, you know. But it's funny how people insist on thinking that, you know, we're all one thing, like you're black or you're white, as opposed to the fact that, like, like Barack's mom is, black, is white, you know? Correct. It's funny why people attach themselves to these things and then and persecute each other on that basis, you know? And I think what I like about, doesn't matter if it's Park Manor or your church, is that we gain an understanding that the world is bigger than ourselves. But we also gain a full, we always talk about politics, right? That's right. And that's cool, because I, I talked to people back in Oakland, California, who didn't go to a church like I went to, Park Manor, or even, you know, that's why I went to Glide in San Francisco. Right. They talked about because politics, they talked about social issues, they talked about race, they talked about stuff that mattered to deal with every single day as a black person, you know. I don't get why people don't get that. That's what bothers me, you know. It's, I don't either. Yeah. I know. But I'm happy to be 
amongst one of the people that I can call. He's truly my friend. Mm -hmm. you know, truly my friend. In fact, his whole family. Yeah. He's a good man, it seems like. He is. He's a beautiful person. Yeah. yeah. And I congratulate him on his 65 years of attaining and I wish him in his retirement mm -hmm. um, lots of late mornings to sleep in <laughs> and good traveling, you know, because mm -hmm. he can certainly travel to places that he's been but yet would like to return to. You know? yeah. So. Yeah. And we can say to Fox News, get off his back, right? <laughs> You know something? I want to say that. I have to pray for Fox News. Mm -hmm. I do. I have to pray for Fox News because they're ignorance they just don't know. You yeah. know. Or either they don't want to know. Yeah. So I think once the full story is told, there'll be a lot of change of heart. It's getting the full story out. It's a difficult. Thanks. Thank you. It's nice to have you too.